Hey everyone, happy Saturday. Welcome back to my channel, my channel, my channel. Hope everyone is okay. Grateful to be here. Thank God for one more year, one more day on earth. I'm a little bit tired, but I decided to come on and give you guys a little bit of, you know, the rest of when I moved in to my apartment. Because I gave you two vlogs the other day, so I wanted to finish up that little sassy part of the story where I mentioned fate. Yeah, I was on the road, so decided not to wear any wig. So I just went on the road, did some business and came back home. Alrighty, so after I got, I'm going to jump right into it because you guys remember where I left off after I moved in and I didn't have any furniture because I already explained. Me I go jump in with the part two. I don't know what I do me and this broken language and this broken English. So after my moving now and me all have the bed and the chair come go work with the lady. Still never have any permanent job because the nursing home was a kill out. And that is even the reason why I did left go Florida go live. If me already mentioned that the other vlogs them and take the living work with the disabled lady because the nursing home was a kill out. So after I come home back and all of that, I say me I go get my place with all of that. We talk it, me talk it already. And I get the house. Me never have no permanent work. Still the two days. But me I say to myself, something I'm going to pick up. This is when me end up, the agency in a New York, when me end up talking about the approach and the all kind of living work on the senior. For some reason, me not call them name because you know me we get so the discriminator company. But for some reason, that particular agency never send you on a clean case yet. So, after me move in, I say me have faith, I take the two days I go and juggle. Um, a co-worker that me knew when me did live in Brooklyn, when me just come, and me just stay in Brooklyn, me never leave, me stay in there. Cause me get the home health license in Brooklyn, and me get me CNA license in Jersey. So me balance the two license them, me not give up none because you have to flexible in America. So a lady when me meet, she said to me, say, you know, say, this certain company, I hire people, um, you know, want to look at home health with them. And me say, all right, let me just get on board. Traveling was a hazard. When me fi go, anywhere they send me, because if me fi reach a case, 9 o'clock in the morning, Mark, you may come from Jersey to New York. So that's two buses and a train. More likely, me I go take either the Jersey Transit or me I go take the path train. Any which way me want go, but me have to reach. So me do it for two and a half years, and me could bother no more because it was weighing down heavily on me. The traveling was one. And the journey was too, because sometimes they send me some places. Me I tell you, up in a Brooklyn, up in a man and all about. Down in a Brooklyn, down in a down in a Utica, everywhere. Flatbush everywhere. So it was too much. Eventually, me leave that work basically when me catch COVID. So me catch COVID. And the eve of COVID, a matter of fact. Because COVID come 2019 or so, my fans. And me catch COVID. 2020 yeah yeah 2020 if me i check right one year after same march so me end up that me wasn't still working with them um full time me was more of a on and off with them because of the sickness and me could go back in at the dust because some of the people in where you get from the agency you don't actually a look about a whole person you end up going at people also go help them clean up them place and Unfortunately, one of the clients that me end up with, um, she was bipolar, she had behavioral issues, and she wanted somebody to help her sister with shopping, medication, go to the pharmacy, pick up, help her clip her place, and it was a hazard. So, I never had to go back in that after COVID. And I said, I go left, frantically. So, before me left now, I eat, put me on my feet eventually when I move in here, and um, get my furniture them together. It actually take me five months to get my bedroom set in here. But go down to the store when me did have the same three week job where the lady drop. And me tell no say me end up after leave the work there. And me pay down a little deposit for my furniture, bedroom set. And when me go, 
I choose black, I choose brown. Because you know, so brown, everybody furniture color, but black look good because eventually everything in here, I buy in a black after that. And to all long, me take for go back in a store for go get the money, rest and money for collect the furniture. Them five months, me still a struggle same way. Because me just bend my mind to my condition and say, me already have a bed. Dress are not my problem because one look a mirror did in the bathroom, in the bathroom stand. Plus one mirror did in the bathroom door. Some standing mirror they nail up in the door. Me not have no problem. Me can work with anything what me can work with. And so, and me have some suitcase with my clothes in them. So, me need not worry about where me I put my things. My man, no, me is a person where I come from Jamaica with everything. Full house of furniture, bedroom set, everything. So, yes or no, as me say, is a mindset. Me can't repeat it enough. So, when me come and me see what me have to do, me just balance my mind and say, we have to do the do. So, me never make it worry me. So, me have the one bed in here and the one chair over there. So, at the time, me throw away that chair because it did get old. Me just work with it. So when me work with it now, I me finally go for my furniture. A furniture man looking at a book and liking him one little look like him. I said, Lord Jesus, me think this is come for already. Nope. When he finally grow on the back, he said, oh, you know, we have a problem. He said, what problem? He said, the furniture that you actually paid for, we only have them in black. He said, let me see the black. Because the, it, it was a dresser. You get a dresser with it, a chest of drawer, and one nightstand, and a bed, and a bedded. So... And a, and a base bottom, you have to buy the springboard or, and the mattress different, something. And when you show me, I say, give me the black. You see, when I come in here and put my black furniture in my place, it literally coordinates to the whole apartment. And then I get carpet on the floor in here and the carpet is burgundy. One nice sound. I want to know, say, black can anything go. So when I put up curtain, you know? the nice clean red curtain, I like red, I'm a favorite color that. And the list goes on. So, me just a finish up after when me move in here and the work never hundred but me still keep the faith and I saw me did have to take the work at New York. But after a period of time, as me tell you, no, it was very, very stressing. It traveling, mm -mm. At one point, me have a case so me supposed to reach here 11 o'clock. So me have to wake up from 7. Make sure me get ready for catching 9, 9 something bus. Reach New York by 10.30, catching next train for reach a lady by 11. I went, cause she was in Fort Hamilton. So when me actually leave this, I'm supposed to leave seven in the evening cause it's eight hours, 7 PM. You can imagine you leave in New York, 7 PM to come back into Jersey. You know, at 10 o'clock, bring you back at Jersey. Cause by the time you feel weird, pardon. It no matter, sorry. It never matter the train at the, at the, at the, at the, at the um, because if you take the New Jersey transit, you still have to wait. And if I take it part, you still have to wait. So imagine you coming at the train station 7.30 at night time. And the train will come until 8. And then when you catch a train 8 o'clock and you come downtown, I live on the worst route. Guys, I don't know how much of you guys here ever travel, but I live on a route where the 31 bus runs in New Jersey. Oh my God, it's the worst route. You can literally stand up downtown and wait on that bus for an hour. No joke. You can imagine when it cold at one point them lock the Penn Station where people couldn't go and go sit down because the Penn Station is downtown in Newark and one is in New York. So there's two Penn Station to travel back and forth for people who live in New Jersey work in New York or who live in New York work in New Jersey because it goes both way. And them literally did lock that one downtown. Nobody can go inside and go sit down anymore. You can go and go buy a ticket, take a train. So you see when cold a bite, you could have on 10 tights under your clothes, 10 gloves by your hand, 10 sweat and 10 this in that all kind of, you could have pad from now till the morning, you're still cool. And you don't know if you sit down. That start get to me mentally. So I say, here we well, have to find a way. Meet this lady. Eventually afterwards, I me pick up my slack and say, let me just do look a babysitting. Because you have to be a jack of all trades and a master of none. A friend once told me, anything I get in America for do, take it. Never say never. That's why I start from cleaning house for $10 an hour, waitressing work for $8 an hour, and I climb up the ladder. And I end up that I never used to do nanny, but I babysitted a few kids with the Jews. Because when I work with the Jews, them, we all know they have a lot of children. So, I do kids too, as well as old people. I rather old people. 
I have no problem with kids because right now I take care of a twin and I'm okay with them because I myself is a mother of a twin. They're 17 year old, they're fraternal boy and girl. God bless them. So I have the experience with twins because I give birth to twins. And me take the job. Me never tell her no lie. Me take the job off of my experience because when the mother was interviewing me, they were babies just born and they were hard feeders because they born with acid reflux. So if you get them for feed, it's a hassle. So the lady were actually living with them was a nanny nurse. And then they wanted a day, daycare nanny difference. So the lady actually bring me onto the job. And when she asked me what experience I have, the truth is my own twins. Me now make up no story. And when me go in there or something, I'm telling baby, me can't do nothing because me, me paranoid or me panic and me don't know about baby. No, me tell her the truth. So either take me or you leave me. So me say my own twins. Me have experience with other children and me do small kids but my own twin is the only twin me ever look about and she hire me because sometimes it's not all the while lie sells because you can't get in a trouble and when you're back against the wall you can't do nothing because you tell a lie so that was the time I just leave New York alone but me have more New York story for now yeah can me just me just call a name a while ago 